Hello friends in this part we will discuss topic like how user can like particular post. So here we can see like button in blue color and in this button we have define like button class and that post it has been stored into data contented attribute. From this we will use this like button class as selector in query code and in that code we will get particular posted from this data contented attribute in query code. So we have go to index page query code part and here we have write dollar document selector with on method and under this method we have right click event with button class like button with function. So when user will click on like button then this code will execute. Under this we define one contented variable is equal to dollar this selector with data method and under this method we have write contented. This code will fetch data contented attribute value and store into contented variable. After this when user click on like button then after we want to disable that like button. So we have write dollar this selector with attribute method and under this method we have disable disabled. This code will disable like button after click on that button for reduce twice like event. Then after we have defined Ajax request for send request to server and under this we have write first option URL set to like.php page. So here we have send request to this page. In second option we have write method option and here we have write post method. Here we have use post method for send data to server. In third option we have write data option and in this option we can define which data we want send to server. So here we have pass value of content in. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called if request completed successfully and this function will receive data from server. Under this function we have write of statement and under condition we have write data variable value is equal to done. This condition will check if this variable value is equal to done then it will execute if block of code. Suppose data variable value is equal to done then it will execute if block of code and we want to load share content with content list. We have call load stuff function. This function will retrieve latest content data from content table and display on web page. So here our query code is ready. Now we have go to write PHP code on like.php page and on this page first we want to make database connections so we have write include statement and under this we have write database connection.php. This will make database connection. After this we have write if statement and under condition we have writes it function with dollar post contented variable. This condition will check if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert query like insert into table user content like with value like contented and user id with values like double colon contented and double colon user id. Then after we have write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare statement and under this we have write dollar query variable. This will make query for execution. Now we want to execute this query so we have write dollar statement variable with execute method and under this method we have pass value of double colon contented value get from dollar post contented variable and double colon user id value get from dollar session user id variable. This will execute insert query. Then after we want fetch result of query execution. So we have write dollar result variable is equal to dollar statement with fetch all method. This method will fetch result from query execution and store into dollar result variable. Now we want to check data inserted or not. So here we have write of statement and under this we have writes of function with dollar result variable. This condition will check if this variable value set or not. If set then it will execute if block of code and under this we have write echo statement with done. This text will send to to Ajax request. So here our code is ready for like post.
So here we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends we have already done login with email johnsmith at gmail.com with password is equal to password and system has been redirect us to index page and here we can text area for share content and below we can see all user content and in previous part we have already share on news which we can see here. So with this post we can see zero like and footer of this post we can see like button. Now we want to like this post. So we have click on this like button, after clicking on like button then after like button has been removed from this post and here we can like has been increased from 0 to 1. Here like button has been removed because this post has been already liked by this user, so this user cannot like this post again so we have removed like button from this post. Now we have check with other user login so we have log out from system. And now we have entered on yahoober at gmail.com as email and in password we have enter password and login into system and we have go index page and we can see share button content form and below we can see all user post and here we can see John Smith share content. And here we can see like button, because this user has not liked this post, so he can like this post and here we can see one like on this post. So we have again click on like button and after clicking like button has been removed from this post and like has been increased 1 to 2. So in this part we have seen how to like post code by using PHP script with Ajax jQuery. In next part we will see notification code once some one user has like your post, so don't miss that part. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial part, please comment your query in comment box and if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.